Now it's one of the worst cases of miscarriage of justice in decades. A 57-year-old man who spent 17 years in jail for a rape that he did not commit has today had his conviction formally overturned by the Court of Appeal. Andy Malkinson has been fighting since 2003 to clear his name. Papers disclosed in court today show that the original jury was misled about the honesty of a key witness and the DNA of another man has been found on the victim's clothing. Our legal correspondent Dominic Casciani reports. A day of justice, a day of truth and freedom. After two decades, Andy Malkinson and his lawyers walked into the Court of Appeal with a message for the criminal justice system. A message about how his life has been destroyed over a crime he always said he never committed. I have been let down. I've been terribly let down. Um, I know I'm not the only one either. Um, um, I don't trust the state because the state is largely unaccountable. And it will not, um, it doesn't like to admit failure. The failures began here in July 2003. A woman was raped and left for dead near the M61 motorway in Greater Manchester. A fortnight later, police visited Mr Malcolmson. They said, we're arresting you for attempted murder and rape. And, and then I thought, oh my God, I, they can't think I've done that, surely, you know. What makes them think I've done that? The police's EFIT description of the attacker didn't look like Andy Malkinson. No DNA or forensic evidence linked him to the victim. Today, the Court of Appeal heard a supposed eyewitness had convictions for dishonesty and had charges dropped days after identifying Andy Malkinson. This is an historic case, but also an historic injustice. His original trial resulted in an unsafe conviction because of deplorable disclosure failures, which must lie at the door of the Greater Manchester Police. And this, the critical evidence, DNA on the victim's vest from another man, evidence that could have freed Andy Malkinson years ago. Today, the outcome was inevitable. Three judges quashing his conviction. Mr Malkinson, having waited so many years, you leave the court a free man no longer subject to the conditions of your life license. On the 2nd of August 2003, I was kidnapped by the state. It has taken nearly 20 years to persuade my kidnappers to let me go. 17 years, 4 months and 16 days of that time were spent in prison. No one has spent longer in prison in the 21st century for a crime they didn't commit than Andy Malkinson, but his battle for justice doesn't end here. He still wants answers from Greater Manchester Police. It says it's truly sorry for what happened, but has refused to be interviewed in relation to the case. The Criminal Case Review Commission, which asked the Court of Appeal to look again, has welcomed the result, but Mr Malkinson's lawyers say the system is broken. We, of course, welcome today's ruling overturning Andy's wrongful conviction. But the question which should trouble everyone is why did it take nearly 20 years to get here? The truth is this case, Andy's case, is an indictment of both the Court of Appeal and the Criminal Cases Review Commission. Is there anything that you've learnt about yourself which has actually made you a stronger person and able to, to, I think, to manage the experience? I think it's made me a stronger person, yeah but in a very difficult way, you know, through, through a lot of pain and anguish. But what a terrible way to find that out. Well, Sophie, outside court tonight, there was an awful lot of anger from Andy Malkinson, a lot of questions he wants answering from Greater Manchester Police, starting with exactly what went wrong, what went wrong right at the beginning of this. He wants those answers. It's not quite clear what he's going to get, although the force has offered to meet him to give him an apology. But perhaps his mother made one of the strongest comments that her son was not a monster. But out there, there is another victim, the woman who was raped. And for Greater Manchester Police, they now face the very difficult situation of potentially prosecuting this case again if they charge the new suspect in this case and expecting that woman to trust them all the way through to that trial. Sophie. Dominic Hashiani, thank you.